everyone, it's Louise here from Crazy Borgies. I hope you're all well and fine on this beautiful March day. Today is Saturday the 16th. Yes, it's the 16th of March today. And we are going to be diamond painting this beautiful parrot. Yes, which looks very, very much like Rio. Yes, it has an uncanny resemblance to Rio for sure. So, first and foremost, if I could ask you, if you haven't done so already, to please like, subscribe and share and hit your little notification bell, which will notify you of my future video uploads. This parrot I only unboxed yesterday. Um, it was gifted by Paint Some Way and it was $10.99, £8.62. pence. I'm going to link it in the video description box. And this is going to be a very quick video because I'm filming on Saturday. It is a Saturday here and I have my children at home, yes. So I'm going to do a few of these specials with yourselves and then I might do a hyperlapse for the rest of the um, colours and shapes. We've only got 10, so not too many. And we're going to start off with symbol number, symbol C, which is the gold domes, yes. Let's just bring you a bit nearer. There, so C the domes okay let's just get diamond painting so grab yourselves a project or a cup of coffee if you want to relax or tea or even a hot chocolate i had some hot chocolate just now actually yes so let's have a look at these gold domes There we go. I think this angle is probably okay. Very nice, very nice. So this is number C, or symbol number C actually. We're gonna zoom you up a bit closer, I think. Well, that's very close, isn't it? Very close, wow. I'm just taking off the plastic cover okay so yeah we are looking for a ah, symbol C okay Let's start off from the bottom. So there's lots of C's along along the branch or the perch that Rio number two is sitting on. Yes. There we go. This one shouldn't take too long to diamond paint, I don't think, because... It is only a partial, so we're not diamond painting everything. Only some, some areas. But you will hear, as I said, some background noise because I have kiddies at home, yeah? There we go. Okay. Usually I'm at church at this time on a Saturday, but because my son's doing his confirmation, he's got to go tomorrow on St. Patrick's Day, so, yeah. There we go. Okay, so as I said, you will hear some background noise because 
I have little ones at home, yes. So there we go. So parts of this video will be in real time and parts will be in hyperlapse or sped up even just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and she doesn't have any on her face at all, actually. Right, hold on, I'm just going to get the next symbol out. Right, so the next symbol is A and it's this blue marquee there. Lovely. Lovely and shiny. Okay. As usual, I will be giving this a wipe down with uh, window cleaner and a wet wipe before sealing. she's got some on on her face up here as well there. okay I had another delivery yesterday from Timu Yes, from Timu, I know, I know. But I got a few bargain deals, so I wanted to show you. But I don't think I'm going to be able to film that one until Monday now, so keep your eye out for that. For that video. Okay. I know a lot of you commented yesterday saying how much like Rio this this looks. It really does. It really does look like her a lot, I have to admit. Okay. And it's a really big size as well. I think it's going to put the fear of God into her, to be honest with you. But <laughs> she's going to either love it or hate it. be interesting to see her reaction won't it yes Rio yes there we go 
go so we've got some there and then just three little ones down here there we go beautiful okay so the rest are just normal size rhinestones okay so I might put this on a hyperlapse now okay and then you can see the completion at the end of the video It is finished this is the end result guys let me lift you a little bit higher yes isn't she fabulous we just move her up a bit I think she turned out wonderful absolutely gorgeous of course we've still got to take off the backing but yes I think she turned out fabulous. Should we take this backing off together actually here? There we go. Wow, isn't she fabulous guys? It's so realistic, I love it absolutely love it so i haven't sealed it yet i will seal it and i always say that i think sealing is the best option to do for any diamond painting because you know you've spent all your time um diamond painting it and this is for canvas as well you know it's 
yeah I'll just grab the tin and I'll show you what I use um, there's lots of different products on the market just give me one second right so this is what I use Johnston's indoor wood varnish clear gloss quick dry and um, hard wearing as well I think this works perfectly for my little project and for my canvases I've used it for probably about six months now and um, I haven't had any problems with it so yeah I'm gonna go and seal that now but yes I think this is a gorgeous fun little project to do and I'm over the moon with it I really am let me just get a wet wipe because I always give my diamonds a little wipe down with just some normal window cleaner window glass and glass cleaner does it ha can be any window and gl glass cleaner it doesn't have to be a particular make because in my experience they all do the same sort of thing and then I just basically gently pat it like so I try not to rub because I find rubbing moves some of the diamonds so I can see some of them have moved already I try not if I do rub I will just rub the tops of the larger marquees sometimes but most of the time I just I just pat it on like so and it does really bring up the sparkle in the diamonds and obviously I try to just get it on the diamonds themselves there I can see a diamond has just lifted there see there but yes I think it's turned out fabulous I don't know if I've done down here I think I did and I'm over the moon with it so huge thank you to paint some way the sparkle is brilliant you see just a little bit of a wipe down and it just brings up those diamonds extra shiny I love it yes there okay guys so I'm gonna quickly seal this now might as well do it on camera oh there we go and once again I'll just pat it on like so ever so gently and this stuff does dry very quick very quick I can see some of my diamonds are moving already but that's okay There we go, so I'm going to leave that to dry for about an hour or two and then we can display it and always remember as well that your base as well comes with um, it comes with a backing as well I can see it dries really quickly. I can see it's already trying to dry here. So, yes. 
Okay, I'm just I don't want to muck around with it too much while it's while the sealant is drying because it really doesn't take long at all to dry. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show it when it's all completely dry and on display, okay? One quick thing as well, always wash your brush with just a bit of washing up liquid because otherwise if you don't it's going to make your bristles go rock hard so yeah always wash them okay okay guys so there it is it's on display as you can see and it looks fabulous you can hear Luna in the background but there we go so yes all completed now that's with the light off there you go and that's with the light on gorgeous thank you so much for watching today's video please like subscribe share comment down below follow me on tiktok and instagram on crazy borgies diamond art and hit the little notification bell which will notify you of my future video uploads okay guys have a beautiful blessed remainder of your weekend bye for now bye